online and on your smart speaker. Find your career in civil construction at Wagner Corporation. Now hiring. Visit wagnercorporation.com.au. Hit News Briefing. Good afternoon. When will likely see some power bill price relief and the home of an Aussie boxing champ targeted in a drive-by shooting? It's Thursday the 9th of June. I'm Isabel Everett and this is your afternoon briefing. The Energy Minister says we probably won't see much hip pocket relief when it comes to the price of our power bills until October when the federal budget is delivered. Chris Bowen announcing they'll give the energy market operator the power to buy gas and store it to shore up supplies, something he's assured won't happen overnight. He's also labelled the coalition's push towards nuclear power a joke after the Nationals leader urged Canberra to have a conversation about the power source. Nuclear is the most expensive form of energy. We have a cost of living crisis, energy prices prices going through the roof and what's their big bright idea let's come up with the most expensive form of energy and let's put that in the system because that's going to make power prices cheaper they really want to argue that bring it on it's a just a complete joke two men are now in custody after an 18-hour standoff with police on the gold coast the pair had been holed up in a duplex since yesterday afternoon causing a lockdown for the suburb of narang which has now been revoked detective inspector chris ahern not going into specifics as to why they were hiding with a return of prison warrant um uh, those are activated when they breached some sort of their conditions of their release from prison. One of the people did have a bracelet and uh, they had removed it uh, in recent days. The home of Aussie boxing champ Justice Hooney has been sprayed by bullets in a drive-by shooting in Brisbane. Hooney and nine other people were inside at the time when at least five bullets were fired into the living room in the early hours of the morning. But the heavyweight boxer says he didn't let it get in the way of his training just a week out from his bout against Joseph Goodall. The whole household was um, woken up. Um, uh, we all kind of just check, see if everyone's all right, and um, pretty much got on with my morning the way I would have. Went to training, uh, got the sparring done, and uh, yeah, just just came home. A heads up to parents with school-aged kids. Atagi has today recommended children aged 12 to 15 who are most at risk of getting COVID begin getting booster shots from next Tuesday. A third dose will be available to those who are severely immunocompromised or have a disability. The PM will meet with his Kiwi counterpart for the first time tonight at an informal dinner in Sydney. Anthony Albanese will then sit down with Jacinda Ardern tomorrow to chat about Australia's deportation policy, climate change and Pacific security. And the amount of plastic ending up on Aussie beaches has actually gone down, reducing by almost a third in the past nine years, according to the CSIRO. Wherever your journey takes you, insist on quality and reliability. Insist on an Australian-made Century Battery. Find yours today at centurybatteries.com.au. In the NRL and the governing body has confirmed it's reviewing the call to not pull Isaiah Yo off the field after he suffered a head knock in the opening minutes of Origin 1. The Blues back rower appeared to stumble after the hit in the first tackle of the match, but says he was never knocked out. While New South Wales has asked the referee's boss to look over some controversial calls that went against them. But team advisor Greg Alexander says there's no use getting too upset about it. 50-50 calls, uh, it's, it's the way the game's always been. Some you get, some you don't. No good me complaining about the referee. I thought Ashley Klein did his best. While the Dolphins continue to piece together their inaugural squad, landing the Titans, Jared Wallace. Turning to AFL and Noah Bolter is back from injury as one of three changes for Richmond against Port tonight as Thursday night footy returns. There's been a change in the ruck for the power, with illness forcing Sam Hayes to stay back in Adelaide. And Carlton coach Michael Voss has confirmed Harry McKay will return to tomorrow night. Taking the afternoon weather, just blue skies for Toowoomba with a max of 11. Mostly sunny and 11 again tomorrow with a low of just 2 degrees. And our listener app is your new home of local news. Download to listen live or on demand now.